Today I'm going to be reviewing this toner signal level meter. You know, there's a need out there for a signal meter that pulls in a lot of different signals, can be used for basic spectral analysis, and can dump the information down to a PC so you can save it and analyze it later. You know, in a previous generation, to have something like that would have been a 10 to 15 pound item that you would have carried around with you that would have had a lot of, of tools, a lot of capabilities, but not necessarily easy to use. Taking a look at this, this is a really nice retail box considering this is never going to be seen on a retail shelf. Not only do you get the meter itself, but you get all the accessories that come with it under this nice little piece of cardboard here. Lifting this off, you can see that you get a good length of coax cable, you get a flash drive, you get a shoulder strap, you get all these extra grommets and adapters, everything you'll need there, and of course, a charging brick. Everything that you're going to need to use this device. Looking at the meter itself, nice heavy duty ballistic nylon case with all the cutouts that you're going to need and attaches with really stiff, nice industrial Velcro. When you get it open, you're going to see this is a very solidly built piece. A nice little feature here is the addition of these little extra tabs, which allow you to use the meter and have the case be sort of a sunshade to it. You're going to be using this outside, and that's an example of the kind of really nice touch that you're going to get when you look at this meter. Taking a look here, from left to right, you have the ability to test fiber. That's that red connection on the left. And the next to that is the power connection, USB port to allow you to save everything down to a flash drive. There's an ethernet port, which allows you to test IP video. There's coax connection. And finally, the power button is all the way on the right. Taking a look at the supplied accessories, you can see the coax cable is really high quality. You get a wall charger and a car charger extra grommets for the shoulder strap, and you even get this selection of adapters which lets you use screw-in or push-on connectors, and that thing in the center with the green, that's for attaching a fiber connection. This is a nice and light unit. You know, it weighs in just about a pound, give or take, and easy to carry with one hand. It comes in this nice little nylon case, which you can actually take these little ears here, and if you're working in bright sunlight, you can kind of put them on, and you can actually see that way it forms a nice little sunshade. Now, first thing you want to know is that this thing is solid. This is metal all the way around. The front part is uh, glass because this is, you know, this is basically a traditional tablet that has been built into this case so that it has everything you need. When you turn it on, you do get this kind of nice uh, sound, which lets everybody know that you've got it, and boots up. Now, you can, you really can't see on camera, but this is really, it's a high quality. Uh, image here. This is as good as you're going to get on your traditional iPad or something like that. Really good quality. There's a lot to it. Um, I'll take you through all of the menus at one point or another. It also has, by the way, I'm going to turn this around. You can see it has a little light here so that you can actually use it as a flashlight if you need it. Very helpful to have around if you're going to be in an area where you know, you're in a closet or something like that, that is not super well lit. What distinguishes this from the competition? Well, first of all, when you're looking at measuring stuff, you know, a lot of meters out there will measure ATSC 1.0. Most will not measure ATSC 3.0. This meter does. And it will also decode ATSC 1.0 signals. So you can actually see live TV signal with it as you're measuring. When it comes to ATSC 3, it doesn't do that, but it does give you all of the basics to know if you have a good signal. You get the ability to test optical through here. I wasn't able to really test that because I didn't have any fiber to put in it, but I, I believe it does work. You can do, use it to test traditional QAM cable systems. You use it for you know pretty much anything you're going to do. You can even test FM stations with this thing, which kind of blows me away. 
that you can do stuff like that. All of this in this kind of neat package, which in addition to having everything you need and it's all touch screen and stuff like that, very flexible, you know, you even set the measurements that you have. But, and this is kind of a neat little thing, you can actually get the actual user manual, the, the real user, and you can zoom in and see the whole thing. Um, it, the complete user manual, exactly as it would be in print, is available right here on this tablet, which is kind of neat. Kind of not something that I expected. A quick note here, I did these screen captures by pointing my phone at the tablet screen. So there is a little bit of distortion, but that's, that's not real. That's just what you see on the phone. As you can see, you can look through any individual channel and you get all of the measurements that you need to aim it, including anything digital. And it will even read ATSC 3.0 really well. If you tap here, then you'll see a little scope that actually kind of gives you basic spectrum analysis. You can see what's going on in real time. And no, it doesn't update more than probably about every 15 times a second, but that's certainly enough. You can narrow it down to see what's going on. It's actually, it's very flexible. You can actually also look at an individual signal's constellation, which is kind of a representation of the way the digital signal is coming in. If you're really qualified at this sort of thing, it's gonna help you understand if there's distortion or problems in the signal. There's a scope feature which lets you look at more than one channel at the same time. Gives you an idea of what's going on and it will help you if you're aiming and you're trying to get in multiple directions at the same time because you can customize this to show you any, you know, any six channels that you want and it will help you compare and know that if you're losing signal on one by gaining it on the other, it's not going to help you. This is a shot of the way that you would customize it and it's quite easy. The meter has a mode where you can actually watch live ATSC 1.0 television. You have to do a, a channel scan first, but it's very easy. Just tap on the magnifying glass, set your options, and it will do the channel scan. It's, it's really fast. I'm not going to show you in real time. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Now, obviously, if you're paying attention, you're going to see that this was all done in our Southern California Test Center where there are a lot of, lot of channels available. Uh, but it picked up every single one of them. And, Signal levels and the number of channels it picked up are similar to what I've seen with other spectrum analyzers. Once the scan is done, with one tap, you're watching live TV. The bloom that you see here is just from the camera. It doesn't appear on the tablet. It's a good looking picture. It's the envy of pretty much anything that you're going to see on any tablet. And you get all the controls that you would expect from television. You can even pick different channels and you can pick any ATSC 1.0 channel. You can't watch live ATSC 3.0 and my guess is that has to do with digital rights management more than anything else. But you have your pick of any ATSC 1.0 channel. It's just an extra added benefit that this device has. Battery life, I was not able to tell how long the battery would last. I had this thing going for more than a whole afternoon and I only got about halfway through the battery. So I'm going to assume that it's about a full day battery of using it any way that you want to use it, which is great battery life. Previous generation spectrum analyzers, the portable ones, had about an hour to an hour and a half of battery life before you had to go charge them in the car or something like that. That's great, but if you're going to be doing this sort of thing all day, you need something that's gonna hold up all day. And this, this absolutely did, it did the job. And when it came time to dump everything down, I was able to get all the information I needed just by putting it on a flash drive. It exports in standard comma separated values format, which you can pull into Excel or numbers or pretty much anything that you want to try to analyze what you're going to do. You know, all in all, when I looked at this thing, I said, okay, this is not a tool that is going to appeal to everybody. That was the first thing that came up in my mind because, well, it's even though it is really inexpensive for its market segment, spectrum analyzers are not cheap. There are a couple of spectrum analyzers on Solid Signal's website, which you know are not even portable, and they're thirty thousand dollars. And this is nowhere near that for basic spectrum analysis features, plus all of these different ways that you can measure signal, which is, you know, you're getting a lot of value for this. It's not a $20 meter, it's not even close to that. 
But if you're measuring signals all day, if this is the kind of thing you're gonna be using a lot, and even if you're putting up a TV antenna, let's just say that you're out there and putting up an antenna every night because you're RVing, and you want a real quality meter that can do ATSC 3.0, you're gonna want something like this toner signal level meter. It comes with everything that you need. It's easy to use, and if you're not even sure, it has a user guide, the, the real PDF of manual built in. I mean, that's, that's like a whole nother level of customer satisfaction that I was not expecting out of this thing. You can get the toner signal level meter, model TSLM, um, at solidsignal.com. I'll put the link up here and just go ahead and shop for it. Take a look at it. If you have questions about it, leave them here in the comments and I will try to answer them. Or if you have questions about anything that we do at Solid Signal, call 888-233-7563. You'll get an expert on the line who really knows what they're talking about and who is going to be able to take care of you from beginning to end.